everyone, and welcome back to another Max Payne video. And today, I am going to continue playing Part 1, Chapter 3. I think that's how this game's structured. Three parts, several chapters in between. True. Wax, Wax him! It's like, he must die! Getting all turned around here. Okay. Alright, now I'm not gonna lie, this part took a little bit for me to get first time around. Told you! God damn! I thought it was a lot for sure! No! And by the way, me not knowing where to go and all that stuff is exactly why I'm playing off camera as well. Oh god, where are you shooting me from? Right there? Makes sense, man. Makes total logical sense. How did you survive that, man? I should have just put you out of your misery with the lead pipe. Or maybe a Molotov? <laughs> so by the way, this will give you uh, three drinks that do absolutely nothing. It'll give you two of that and then the one of that. <laughs> Don't know why. And then there's nothing in this room at all. And then, I don't need to turn on the TV. Oh, uh, that's where that happens? Okay. I thought there were pain pills there. There we go. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, that's that from before. And I can't do it again. Ah, oh, drop the ball on that one. Well, just go back and read it. Let's see, where do I need to go from here? At some point, I knew my way around this place. I know you're supposed to go down here. Okay, that's where... Okay. Huh, that's secret there. Oh my god. I hate it when enemies shoot at you and you can't see them at all. I can definitely see these clowns. That's for sure. And they're gonna kill me too. Oh god. God, they're gonna kill me. Oh my god. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna save it. Yeah, see, I'm already part two and playing off camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! 
I should have really had my Barettas out. Why did it only... Okay, I guess... I guess I needed to reload. That would have been nice to know. Instead of taking a lot of damage... It's ridiculous sometimes... That that happens. I mean, I understand why it happens, but it's just a little bit ridiculous. Let's see, maybe I can go back, read that. Okay. What I, what I didn't read is the diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Ah, well, just read that. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. God, I was able to kill all of them. That was a little bit st stressful. Not gonna lie. Oh, I'm not gonna walk through there yet. Will it read this itself? No, so I have to. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We had been snowed from the start in the Valker case and the forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders or bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. And no, it will not read it. So I should probably stop. Oh my god. Is everything okay in there? I think they all just up. Oh, they didn't quite take care of each other. But I'm going to save it right here though. There we go. Just in case some Read this? No. <clears throat> a dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood. Next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat comic strip. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an, has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. But a six pack of root beer gets me every time. Uh, that door looped around. Seems like half the stuff around here just loops around. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in LA or Mexico? They can't even get what? Yeah, why are they always set in Mexico or LA? 
That I just don't understand, my friends. That was a little bit stressful. I mean, I hate to say it. Well, I don't... I was gonna say that this part's gonna be stressful until I get pain pills. Yes, pain pills! I always love my pain pills. Chill with the guns! Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. There is a green-eyed angels. Amen. Whack. Uh -uh. Maybe, maybe having a shotgun isn't the best thing to have. But oh well, it's what I'm choosing to have. How did you not die the first time? Shotgun blast to the face, and now you die! Pain... pain pills? Pain pills? <laughs> I do like the fact that you can interact with stuff like that. Ah, Molotov. That's why I always check these. Please, pen Yes! Thank you! I kinda remembered that there were... pain pills around here. Now I must get my cold drinks. It's always the same. Is there anything in here? Oh god, that, that inverted my view. Alright, I remember this being stressful. So I'm gonna save it. Let's see. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room and and I'm thinking now they gonna do it. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I'll tell you, Candy. I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, aren't I? Mm-hmm. Rico, Mirte, big-time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop! I mean, Rarte went for his gun. That's probably not how I pronounce it anyway. Do something! Bam! How did you survive that shotgun blast? How did you survive two shotgun blasts to the face? That's what I want to know. How did you survive two shotgun blasts to the face? I, I'm not even upset that I died. It's how you took two shotgun blasts to the face and lived. How did you do that? I'm more impressed than anything. Oh. oh god.
Alright, dual Barrettas. Oh. oh my gosh. You know what, I'm gonna save it with the dual Barrettas in my hand. Instead of switching back and forth. This is... okay. If I take one more bullet, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Oh. oh my god. I don't care about your dialogue! The second time, much less the fifth and sixth and seventh time, I don't care! I don't care. God. Why? Why do I... Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I really thought I would survive that time. Uh, this didn't give me as much trouble the first time around! What? Why am I struggling so much? Uh, oh my gosh. This is starting to get to levels of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm starting to get pretty salty about this. You know, I get that that kills me, but... How does that kill me? And she survived not one, but two shotgun blasts to the face. I don't get it. It's pretty good freaking Max Payne. I mean, I still love this game, don't get me wrong, but that just kind of bugs me. It's like, how is it? You guys know I'm not going to say it about a thousand times. Because you guys know it annoyed me. Okay, I might stand a fighting chance here. Help! 
I'm saving. I am saving. I don't care. I don't care how many times I have to save in a video. I just want to get past the part and then freaking save it. And you, my friend, are big and fat, but you are killing me. Okay, that that's cool. I'm just gonna assault you with the... Right, now. Hold on, let me reload this. Oh, I don't want to save in an empty slot. Come on, you freaking piece of crap. Die! 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 Heck yeah! Don't kill me! Don't kill me, please, no! Have mercy! Okay. 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 That's all I wanted! Oh god! Please, boys! All I wanted was mercy! And you're like... No! No, we can't give you mercy! That's overrated! Yes, give me the one. Give me the two. And then give me the other type. Thank God. Oh, Max is not going to read this, so I have to. Okay. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over the web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss! Gognetti! It's Max Payne! He came in and started capping us and killed. Ugh! Are you freaking kidding me? He's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him! What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me! Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circlet circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. I kind of like reading these. Now before I go upstairs here, let me save this. I don't know why that one's oh, that water looks disgusting but then again someone would be all like hey have you seen the place it looks god awful it's like I would say that I don't disagree with you man I don't disagree at all. Cold drinks. Coming down the pike. Are there any painkillers around here? You can never have too many painkillers.
And then as I remember, this part's kinda... So let me save it right here as well. Okay, I try to survive as best I can. Oh! The last person! Oh my god! I'm seeing bullets flying around everywhere. Yes! One hit kill! Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, now I need to... Exit. BAM! I wasn't holding engrams. <laughs> I was holding a shotgun. Hold on, I'm gonna... Read this and then let it get back to actual game, and then I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to end off the video. Okay. Turn around. Walk away. Blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lapino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me. But they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming. And they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lapino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow. As if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look of the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir. The head of the local Russian mob. The flying Don Punchinello soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged.
see us guys I do believe that that will do it for this Max Payne video and till the next Max Payne video I will see you all later goodbye guys thank you all for watching uh...